I think some of you took what I tweeted the wrong way. If you were a part of the Ace family and you're our supporters, you know where I was coming from. I would never disrespect our supporters, our Ace family members. And I think you guys know that. Hello and welcome back to Drama Investigator. Before we get into today's investigation, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I post the tea. Also be sure to follow me on Instagram at Drama Investigator, where I post the tea before anyone else finds out. Austin McBroom is in trouble again for some problematic tweets he tweeted out the other day. You'd think by now that this man would be cancelled after the fiasco that took place this year, where Cole Kerrigan made a video exposing some horrific things that Austin and his dad had allegedly done to Cole Kerrigan's female friends. But no, Austin's fans forgave and forgot. As for his wife, Catherine Piaz, she pretended that it never happened. Austin is notorious for treating the people around him like shit. He was jet skiing in his pool that's on the side of a hill not long ago, and this caused mudslides that would fall onto his neighbor's yard. And his neighbor was some sort of agricultural farmer, I think he grew grapes, so that caused detrimental and irreversible damage to his grapevines, which Austin didn't give an F about. It was so bad to the point point where the neighbor's nephew took to his Twitter and exposed the damage Austin had caused. The neighbor's nephew had tweeted, can the next of the day be the YouTuber the Ace family for riding a jet ski in their pool and creating mudslides that destroyed my uncle's property and grapes. They have done it multiple times and we told the city about it, but they continue to do so. <laughs> Stop! But oh no, Austin keeps getting breaks from the internet. He can do no wrong apparently, even when he treats his fans like shit. Actually, this just so happens to be the breaking straw for a lot of his fans, because no one likes being treated like shit, especially when they've done nothing wrong and they pay your bills. Austin had tweeted yesterday, some of y'all are ungrateful for free content. Some of y'all should be charged every time you watch someone's video. I don't know why y'all think it's just so easy to make videos every day or every other day. If it was so easy, everyone including yourself would be doing it. A fan had responded, I don't think I should pay to watch your content. I think I should be paid to watch your content. Austin had then tweeted, for those of you getting upset because we haven't posted in a few days, do us a favor and unsubscribe and stop watching our every move. We know our loyal Ace family members will understand that we need a little break. I think we deserve some quality time away from the camera. I hardly ever rant, but just know if you know us, whenever the Ace family takes a break, it's for a reason. Stay tuned, because when our break is done, we're coming back stronger than ever with some exciting news. Love, peace, family. Some fellow influencers, including Raw Beauty Christy, had responded to Austin McBroom, stating, you guys, give him a break. It's hard making your own schedule and choosing to upload every day. Hard ones too. Like, we tried selling our YouTube diamond play button. Unbelievable offer. Frankly, each and every one of us should have to pay for that unique and interesting content. Mr. Preda had tweeted, tweeted from the phone and the multi-million dollar home that the people who watch your content gave you. Internet, can we do better than this in 2020? Austin had then tweeted, we are beyond grateful for everything. The Ace family are the first people we acknowledge for our accomplishments. But when people start disrespecting us for not uploading videos on their time, that's where the line is crossed. Now Austin went into hiding for a day and then he apologized on a Snapchat. But beforehand, his wife, Catherine Piaz, had taken to Twitter and was responding to the drama directed towards Austin McBroom. She had said, I can't control what someone says, does or feels. If you've noticed, that has always been the case. But what I do know is everyone is battling their own demons and learning about life as they keep evolving. We have to be sympathetic for others and understand that nobody is perfect. A fan had said, I get that, but asking people to unsubscribe is crossing the line. There will always be unsatisfied people and he just needs to not focus on them. Catherine had responded, I agree, but his tweet is just a reaction of a deeper feeling. I'm glad he tweeted what he did because now it opened a conversation for something deeper. I think it's now time to understand more than ever and help the underlying issues. I'm battling my own demons myself. Spill Sesh, a fellow 
Hello Drama channel had even looked back into tweets that were directed at Austin and no one was telling him off in the first place apparently for not filming over Christmas. She had tweeted, I'm looking through the Ace family comments and I'm wondering where Austin saw rude comments of people wondering where the new video was. There's only people wondering why he hyped up the new stuff with snaps saying, stay tuned. The comments of worried fans asking if they're okay. Now Austin took to his Snapchat story and half ass apologised for his since deleted rude tweets. And I say half ass because you'll notice he spins the story around and plays the victim card, further pushing the idea that it's Christmas and everyone should pity him for deciding not to film. So it really wasn't an apology from the get go. Sorry guys. Sorry guys, I look a little crazy right now. I literally just woke up. That's why I have this filter on my face. But I wanted to address something real quick. I think some of you took what I tweeted the wrong way. And I also upset my wife. But I would hope that if you were a part of the Ace family and you're our supporters, you know where I was coming from. Um, I would never, ever disrespect our supporters, our Ace family members. And I think you guys know that because you guys are the reasons why we're at where we're at point blank period we wouldn't have been able to do everything we do without you guys but when i seen people not understanding why we decided not to film our christmas together or why we decided not to film for the past couple of days really upsets me because there are times where we want to spend time away from the camera and I really take pride in trying to be consistent and trying to give you guys what you guys want. And it's honestly tiring and I'm exhausted for trying to film, if not every day, every other day, or trying to give you guys what you want and constantly coming up with ideas and constantly filming and constantly trying to um, meet your guys' expectation. Like I am exhausted from it. And so seeing some of you guys bash us for wanting to spend time together as a family away from the camera and not wanting to share certain moments really hurts me because, like I say, we try to show you guys as much as we can. And I appreciate that some of you want more, but I think... I, well, I hope you guys would understand that at times we're unable to give you everything that you want. It's just not possible. Nobody's perfect. And I apologize for tweeting the words that I said, but I would hope you guys understand where it was coming from deep down inside. And obviously with this day and age, for the past couple of years, we've been having to be so cautious about what we say and how we say it because people will literally push your words and use them against you and so it's just so challenging to be able to express certain things to you guys um, and really show you how we truly feel and so there are going to be times but there are going to be times where we may say some things that should have been said differently and so again i apologize i really really hope for our supporters and our ace family members i hope you all understand where i'm coming from for the people who may not be a part of the Ace family or may not support us, but still watch us, I hope you all understand where I'm coming from. Nobody's perfect. So again, it's just a misunderstanding. I apologize. Um, and I love you all. Um, and I hope you all have a happy new year. I hope you guys are safe. Um, we're actually going on a trip to spend some time together. So I hope you you all understand that and I love you all. I actually enjoy opening up and talking to you guys on here. I think I'm gonna do it more often. I kind of went away from that ever since we got so serious with YouTube, but I think I'm gonna start. What are your thoughts on Austin's response? Let me know in the comments. That's all for this investigation. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell. My social media will be linked down below and I'll see you guys in our next investigation.